everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Vanessa and I know you saw the thumbnail. I know you did. That's why you clicked on this video. Yes, you heard it right. We are having gluten-free pecan pie. I told you guys, we are going to have the best Thanksgiving this year for us celiac, gluten intolerant, all the above who has to eat gluten-free, we're having it all. So yes, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my gluten-free pecan pie. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. But I have a whole bunch of gluten-free recipes for you guys, especially right now, I'm doing a whole bunch of Thanksgiving recipes. So if you're looking for something or want something, it's most likely down below. If it's not there yet, it's gonna be, if I haven't done it, please let me know and I will try to get to it as quick as I can, but yes. Right now, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my gluten-free pecan pie. And at the end, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make a salted caramel drizzle to go on top. If you guys would like to see how I make gluten-free pecan pie, then go ahead and keep on watching. So to a medium saucepan, I'm going to add a half a stick of butter and then I'm going to add a full cup of dark corn syrup. You can use light and you can use molasses. All of them are gluten-free. It just depends. This is the brand that is gluten-free. Um, it just depends on you and what you have on hand. Molasses is going to make it very, very sweet. So just be a little bit careful. I probably would add a little bit less into the mixture, but that's completely up to you. I'm also going to add a fourth of a cup of dark brown sugar. And to me, dark brown sugar just works a little bit better, but fully pack it in. I will have all the measurements down below for you guys, for you guys to, you know, check out if you're missing anything while I'm talking. And then we're going to add a fourth of a cup of maple syrup. And then we're going to add a pinch of salt and about a fourth of a teaspoon, not tablespoon, teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we're going to put that on the stove and melt it all down together. Make sure you whisk carefully. Um, put it on a lower heat because we don't want any of this stuff to burn and it can burn very easy. But yes, we're going to put it on and just kind of slowly mix until everything is well combined. Now we're also going to be adding some alcohol to this mixture. You guys can completely scrap that, that is okay. If you don't want the alcohol flavor to be too, too much, you can add it at this point, but that's up to you. I usually add it in when I'm cooling the mixture down, just because I want a little bit of the flavor, but I don't want a lot of the flavor. So that's up to you. If you don't want that much of the alcoholness, it'll burn off during the cooking process. You can add it during this time. And usually I add about maybe like a half of a shot, not even that. I just do kind of more like a little like, like dip, if that makes sense. <laughs> I will have a measurement for that dip when, when you look down in the comments. But yes, I just wanted to let you guys know, you guys can pick and choose whenever um, to put it in. That way you guys can get rid of the alcohol flavor. And then I'm going to take it off the heat and we're going to keep stirring it until it starts to cool down because we are going to be adding eggs. We do not want to add the eggs too soon because it will start to scramble the eggs. This is the pecans that I use. Um, they're gluten free. Be very, very careful when it comes to picking nuts because a lot of them are processed in factor factories that either have wheat or sometimes the nuts even contain wheat. I know I've made that mistake many, many times, so just be a little bit careful. Then once the mixture is completely, not completely cooled, we still want it warm, but when it's cooled down, when you don't see smoke coming out of it anymore, um, then we are going to add the eggs slowly. One at a time, I did three eggs, but be very, very careful not to still let them sit in there because they probably will scramble and I'm not having scrambled eggs with my pecan pie. So as soon as you put one in, mix, 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 mix as fast as you can. Just keep mixing, mixing, mixing until it's well combined and then add. As you start to add the eggs, the mixture will cool down and you don't have to worry as much. But I would definitely say for the first one, mix it as quick as you can and then you can start to slowly not mix as fast. Does that make sense? I thought that that made sense. <laughs> Once the mixture is well combined, then we are going to add a full cup of pecans. Um, you guys can pick and choose how much pecans you wanna add to it. I wanted a really nutty pie. That's what I wanted. That sounds really bad. Get your mind out of the gutter. 
but um, it's completely up to you on how much you want to add to it. If you want more of the filling, then add less pecans. If you want more pecans, then go for it. It's completely up to you. Then this is where we're going to add the Captain Morgan. Yes, Captain Morgan is gluten free for all of you who didn't know. You are allowed to have a little bit of alcohol. And I'm just doing this for the flavor. I actually don't really drink, but I do like to put some stuff in some of my baking. And yes, I would, like I said, I'm going to leave a measurement for the amount down below. Cause like I said, I just kind of do like a splash. I know I said a dip earlier, but it's more like a splash. But just in case, it also depends. This is our gluten-free crust. It's amazing, it is the best, but you have to be very careful because it does burn very quick. So most of the pies have to be put on the lower bottom level of the oven. And then it also has to be put at a certain temperature. So we're going to be putting this in the oven at 350 for about 50 minutes or so. Sometimes 45, sometimes 50, sometimes an hour. It depends on your oven and all of that stuff. Um, just be very, very, very careful. This pie crust is very flimsy. Now it is allergy like free. There's no eggs or anything in it, but it is very flimsy. So just be careful and kind of babysit it when you see it in the oven and now look at it it looks so good we're gonna let it cool for about an hour sometimes too it depends um, but we don't want to cut it too soon otherwise it'll just goo all the way out but let's get to the caramel sauce the salted caramel sauce we're going to add a full cup of sugar to another pan pot this is a pot <laughs> I'm doing my voiceover at like four in the morning right now so I'm super I, I just woke up. Yes, I woke up at four in the morning. So if I'm getting myself confused, that is why. And then we're going to put it on a medium to low heat and we're going to babysit it. Just stir, 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 and you will slowly see it start to melt. It will start to like crystallize at first and then it will start to become more clumpy and then it'll start to melt. So you'll see it, I'm kind of doing it slowly, but you wanna babysit it, you don't want it to burn at all. And guys, I know I kind of trailed off back there on the Captain Morgan thing. I didn't get like into detail. I was talking and then the clip just switched on me and then I had to start talking about something else. That happens a lot when I edit. I apologize. I realize that I start to ramble about things or I talk too fast. And then, you know, I trail off and I'm like, oh crap, the clip just switched and now we're talking about something else or now I'm showing something else. So I promise I will have everything down in the description below. Any questions that you guys have, you are more than welcome to leave a comment and I will answer whatever question you guys have. Um, just know that with the Captain Morgan, you do not have to add it. You don't have to at all. You can make it kid friendly, family friendly. Don't even worry about it. It was just the little spiciness that I added to mine. It's completely okay. But once we get to this mixture right here, then we're going to add about a half a stick of butter. Two tablespoons to half a, half a stick, depending on how uh, buttery you want it. So that's completely up to you, like I said. And then we are adding half and half to this. I don't remember the measurements. Like I said, I will have it down below. I wanna say I added about a cup of half and half, but you can add heavy cream. You can add probably milk, honestly. I would say add less with milk because it is more liquidy than heavy cream would be. But I used half and half just because that's what I had on hand. And then just mix, 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 mix. Um, it will start to bubble when you add the butter or the heavy cream. Be very, very careful, please. Hot sugar on your skin hurts really, really bad. Cover your hand if you have to. We do not want any injuries during this season. But yes, we're going to mix, mix, mix this, and then we are going to set it for about a minute and then leave it alone. We just wanna let it sit and boil. That is it, nothing else, no stirring. Just leave it doing this for about one full minute. Then turn it off and take it off the heat. Once we take it off the heat, then we're gonna put it off to the side and this is where we add our salt. I added about a 
half a teaspoon of salt. I wanted mine to be kind of salty. If you just want a caramel sauce, just leave it right there. If you want a salted caramel sauce, then you're gonna add some coarse salt. You can add sea salt, it's completely up to you. You can add a normal salt if you don't have any like coarse salt on hand, but yes. I wanted it a little bit more salty and my husband loves salted caramel anything so I wanted it a little bit more salty but that's up to you if you want it more sweet add less salt if you want it more salty add more salt you can add table salt sea salt coarse salt it's completely up to you guys Now this pie came out super sticky and I was having a hard time with this piece right here. Do you see the side right there? It was just gooing out and it was it was delicious, but oh my god, it is so sticky. And then my car my caramel sauce, I wasn't able to drizzle it because it wasn't cooled down enough, but it's okay. It worked. It was super good, super sweet. Let me know if you guys like it and if you try it and I hope you guys enjoy. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already. But if not, that's fine. You're welcome back anytime. And yeah, if you guys are looking for anything gluten-free, Thanksgiving related, it's all going to be down below in the playlist. If not, it's coming. I promise, I promise, I promise. I'm getting everything up to you guys before Thanksgiving. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.